part two the main Jenkins configuration areas so we've got five main areas here that we're going to take a look at just to give you a, an overview of Jenkins um, the first is all the configuration and Jenkins management panels and um, we'll go through three of those configure system managing nodes and managing the plugins then we'll have a quick look at creating new jobs or projects we'll see how you can monitor the status of those jobs and projects We'll have a quick look at how you can kick off manually a build or a job or project. And we'll look through the build execution and build queue um, panels that you'll see on most of the pages within Jenkins. So what we have here is a Jenkins system that's already been configured. And the main configuration areas come directly from the left-hand menu or we can just click on manage Jenkins now quick tip here Jenkins is really easy to get around but when you first come to it you need to be aware that there are drop-down menus from just about everywhere within this application and they're all context sensitive and again if you come to the Jenkins panel over here you've got context sensitive menu from there so if we look at the manage Jenkins area we have got 10 12 options on here there's three we're really going to concern ourselves with first is configure system it's from here that we'll set up our connection to our AWS account you can see in this section here of the configuration cloud Amazon EC2 we can set up all our keys that will connect to our Amazon account the other area under the Jenkins configuration then that we'll be using a lot so manage Jenkins will be our, our nodes. So we're going to use remote nodes, remote Amazon instances that will be running Linux, Ubuntu, and it's those nodes that will do the build, the install, and run the applications on that we'll then test. So when we look at the nodes page, you'll see the master node, which is the machine, the main Windows 2008 machine that's running Jenkins. And when we fire up those remote nodes, and Jenkins will create those instances automatically for us in AWS, we'll see those nodes show up in here as well. And there's also a button here that allows us to fire up those Amazon instances automatically if we want to. So the third configuration area then, coming to Jenkins, manage Jenkins again, you'll see manage plugins. Now Jenkins is extensible and there are hundreds of plugins that will provide additional features capabilities to Jenkins we will focus on three or four over the course of this module um, the main one being Amazon EC2 plugin which allows us to connect to AWS and automatically provision instances in the cloud so that's the three main configuration areas we'll be covering over the next 10 modules second area is the new items option and this is where we create our jobs projects builds if you like and the concept here is that you will create a new item which will be what they call a build project now it doesn't actually have to be a build it could just be an install it could be a run-up of an Amazon machine but it's an automation project if you like and they are created by clicking on your new item and then you'll see that new item that new project listed in this area here so there's several different types of items we can create freestyle project maven project etc we will be sticking to freestyle projects as we go through this course so the third area then is the monitor status of our jobs when you run one of those jobs and you can run them manually or they will be kicked off automatically you will see the status of those jobs listed on the left hand side under the build queue and the build executor status so the build queue panel refers to jobs that are in a queue waiting to be run and the build execution gives you information about the client machines that you are running up and the builds that are actually running on those machines so in this instance I've kicked off a job that job starts by creating a an instance in the cloud and then once it comes online it will run this job on that node and that essentially is it five main areas 
the configuration under Manage Jenkins, the creation of new jobs or projects using new item, the list of the created jobs here, the status of the builds and the executions of those jobs, and the ability to kick off manually those jobs. So in the next part, we'll look at Jenkins plugins, what those plugins give us, and how to go about installing them.